Recently, local churches opposing a bill that would provide medical aid in dying for some terminally ill Marylanders. First Baptist Church of Glen Arden International says it does not support Senate Bill 443, also known as the End of Life Option Act. The measure would allow a licensed physician to provide medication to a patient that is intended to end their own life. Under the bill, the patient must be terminally ill, received a prognosis of death within six months, and can make their own medical decisions. Reverend Taya Wilson says that the bill is immoral and dangerous. In our church, we have had many members who have received a prognosis of death by their doctors who we've seen God completely heal. So that's first and foremost. We believe that God is a healer and we've seen him do it. There's nothing impossible for God. That's first. Second, we understand how critical it is for patients and doctors to have trust between them. And we believe that introducing the doctor's ability to kill now and assist in killing would certainly erode that trust. And the bill has been introduced in the Maryland General Assembly for years, but has failed to pass. A House hearing on the measure is set for February 16th at 1 p.m.